The landscape of generative AI is quickly separating into two distinct yet complementary paths, large language models, LLMs, and SLMs, small language models. So what do those these actually mean? And where should we be using them? That is the purpose of this video today. So let's get started. While LLMs continue to push the boundaries of generalized intelligence and complex reasoning, SLMs are emerging as the fundamental building blocks for scalable, efficient, cost-effective enterprise deployment. A comprehensive assessment requires us to move beyond simple size comparisons. We must evaluate the nuanced trade-offs in architecture, performance dynamics, operational economics, and deployment flexibility to build a compliant and cost-effective AI strategy. The key message today is that the future of scalable enterprise AI is inherently heterogeneous, meaning it will rely on a mix of both model types. So let's get started. LLMs or large language models occupy the upper end of the model scale, defined by massive computational complexity and broad generalization capability. This scale is rooted in the number of parameters which are the internal variables the model learns during training. LLMs typically range from tens of billions of hundreds of billions of parameters. For example, frontier models like LAMA3 reportedly re reach 405 billion parameters, while GPT-4 is estimated to contain as many as 1 trillion parameters. Now, this size necessitates deep and intricate transformer designs with many layers essential for capturing subtle language patterns and long-range contextual information. They are trained on vast, varied web-scale datasets, often encompassing trillions of tokens, such as the entire public internet. Think of an LLM as a brilliant, highly generalized consultant who has read every book in the world and can speak about nearly every subject with nuance. So what are SLMs, small language models? So in contrast, SLMs are defined by their compactness and efficiency. Their parameter counts typically range from a few million up to approximately 10 billion. Popular examples include Google's Gemma and Microsoft Phi 2 family. Architecturally, SLMs utilize shallower, simplified transformer designs with fewer layers. Critically, the definition of an SLM is shifting away from being purely size-based. With the introduction of highly optimized models, Classification is now increasingly determined by the model's optimization for resource-constrained deployment and its capacity for high-quality, specialized performance. SLMs leverage smaller, more curated, and domain-specific datasets. The success of models like Phi2 shows that using high-quality, specialized, textbook-quality data yields powerful reasoning despite a modest size. SLMs function best as expert specialists in a narrow field. Now let's do a technical deep dive from an architecture and data regime standpoint. Now, if you look at your video now, it summarizes the core architecture difference. On the left, SLMs have parameters in the millions up to 10 billion, a shallower design and rely on curated domain-specific data. On the right, LLMs use billions or trillions of parameters a deep complex architecture and massive web scale data. The significance here is that the SLMs focus on curated data means that for specialized enterprise tasks, investing in data quality yields a higher return than simply acquiring massive compute resources. Furthermore, LLMs require specialized centralized GPU clusters, while SLMs are optimized for decentralized on-device or mid-tier GPU deployment, which fundamentally impacts the cost. Now let's look at the technical deep dive from an operational economics. The most compelling argument for SLM lies in their operational efficiency and reduced TCO or total cost of ownership. First, the inference cost, which is the cost of running the model in production, is dramatically lower. SLMs can be 10 times less overall and inference pricing can be reduced by over 100 times per million queries compared to high-end LLMs. Second, inference latency is better for real-time applications. SLMs are optimized to serve tokens in tens of milliseconds, making them suitable for real-world applications like customer service. LLMs being cloud-hosted and often complex often incur higher latency measured in hundreds of milliseconds or more. Finally, SLMs drastically reduce the total cost of ownership because they can run effectively on mid-tier GPUs, standard CPUs, or edge devices avoiding the need for massive data center-grade CPU clusters 
required by LLMs. The lower OPEX is like using a fast, cheap local technician for simple requests instead of paying for an expensive, slow consulting team to fly in from the headquarters for every minor query. Continuing with our technical deep dive, let's look at optimization and customization. Now, SLMs maximize performance within their compact size through sophisticated optimization techniques. Knowledge destination, or KD, is a primary strategy where a large feature LLM transfers its learned patterns, such as complex reasoning paths, to the smaller student SLM. Another critical technique is quantization, which reduces the numerical precision of model weights for example, converting 32-bit floats to 4-bit integers. This compression can shrink model size by up to 75% and accelerate inference speeds by 1.56 to 2.4 times. Now think of quantization as compressing a large high-resolution photo file into a smaller JPEG. You retain the necessary quality, but make it much faster to load. Furthermore, SLMs are small enough full fine-tuning on proprietary data updating every parameter for extreme specialization. In contrast, large LLMs are often too expensive for full fine-tuning, requiring parameter-efficient fine-tuning methods. All right, to continue with our technical deep dive, now let's look at deployment flexibility. SLMs are the foundational layer for decentralized AI. Their compact size makes them uniquely suited for on-device or edge deployment, running AI directly on devices like your smartphones, IoT equipment or autonomous vehicles. This capability is critical for achieving data privacy and sovereignty. Since SLMs can run locally, on-prem or entirely offline, regulated sectors like healthcare or finance can ensure sensitive data never leaves their secure environment. This ability to avoid extreme or external cloud processing often outweighs the LLMs superior generalized performance making the choice a compliance decision. However, we must note the robustness trade-off. While specialized SLMs are powerful, large LLMs still demonstrate higher resilience against adversarial perturbations and immediate reasoning failures due to their massive scale. Now let's talk about use cases. Let's start with LLMs first. LLMs are the generalized expert. They should be strategically reserved for tasks where generalized intelligence, high stakes reasoning, and scale are mandatory. This includes complex reasoning and multi-step problem solving that requires drawing connections across diverse domains. They are ideal for creative content generation and complex, sophisticated code generation. LLMs are also critical for high-level enterprise strategy tasks such as large-scale risk analysis, fraud detection, and complex legal synthesis that requires deep domain breadth. Finally, in modern AI systems, the LLM acts as a high-level orchestrator or consultant handling generalized decision-making and coordinating multi-agent workflows. The SLM use case is that for the specialized workhorse. They're ideal for workflows prioritizing efficiency, accuracy on narrow tasks, and low latency. This covers highly specialized tasks like high-accuracy compliance checks in finance, specialized data parsing, or net Q&A, where fine-tuned SLMs can match or exceed the accuracy of generalized LLMs. They are essential for real-time interaction such as high volume customer support chatbots handling FAQs because they can respond rapidly in tens of milliseconds. The small language models integrate seamlessly into internal workflows for repetitive operations, like let's say file annotations, or you want to streamline HR queries. In advanced architecture, the SLM functions are the highly efficient worker executing the bulk of operational subtasks, ensuring that the economic viability of the entire system. Now let's talk about certain use cases where you would need hybrid architecture. So let's talk about agentic AI systems. Now this is the decade of the AI agents. So let's start with that. So the adoption of SLMs is an economic necessity for scaling advanced agentic AI systems. Agentic workflows, which use AI to perform sequential tasks, can require dozens or even hundreds of inference calls per session. The expensive LLMs perform all of these repetitive actions, like structured output, formatting, or simple routing, the cost will scale up linearly and the system quickly becomes economically unviable or even prohibitive for production users. So what's the solution? It's a hybrid architecture. We reserve the LLM for high-level orchestration and complex reasoning and delegate the high-frequency execution tasks to specialized SLMs. This delegation ensures that the cumulative cost remains manageable realizing a significant 10x to 30x cost advantage in production. So this is like building a house. The LLM is the architect creating the plan. 
But the SLMs are the specialized construction crews. They are the plumbers, they are the electricians doing the repetitive high volume work. Let's look at another use case, which is the optimizing RAG pipelines. So RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. Now SLMs also serve as a strategic cost reducing infrastructure role in RAG pipelines. Now RAG is a process that allows LLMs to retrieve and use external proprietary data for generating more accurate responses. The core mechanism relies on generating embeddings, which is numeric AI representations of data chunks. This is a high volume, high frequency compute task. If an LLM is used to generate these embeddings, the massive volume of input tokens severely inflates operational expenses. By utilizing specialized SLMs to perform this background work, acting as a cost-effective research assistant, enterprises can generate semantic representations faster and significantly cheaper. This delegation dramatically optimizes the total cost of ownership of the RAG infrastructure transforming a potentially expensive infrastructural component into a highly affordable, scalable service. So what is our conclusion? The evidence overwhelmingly demonstrates that LLMs and SLMs are complementary architectural components. They are not competitive rivals. The future of efficient AI is inherently heterogeneous. We offer four key strategic recommendations. First, embrace heterogeneity and modularity. Treat LLMs are the expert consultants reserved for complex reasoning and SLMs as a high frequency operational workhorses for specialized tasks. Two, prioritize inference cost optimization. Actively target SLMs for any routine or specialized workload because the 10x to 100x reduction in inference cost is the single most effective lever for reducing total operational expenditures. Third, invest in data quality and optimization. Shift focus towards creating highly curated domain specific training data sets for SLMs and utilize techniques like robust quantization to shrink models while preserving performance. And finally, secure data sovereignty by leveraging the SLM's capability for on-device and on-prem deployment to meet strict compliance requirements in regulated industries. And this is true, particularly if you're using working in a heavily regulated environment like healthcare and pharma or finance banking. So with that, we come to the end of the show. Please support our work by joining us as a member. All you have to do is go to the description and at the very bottom, you will see the link to become a member of the AI with Arun show. In any case, please like, share and subscribe to the AI with Arun.